Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us. I... We... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Hi, Artyom. Maybe... All right. Welcome to the crew. I don't know. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman, with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my petrol and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, her and I. So much stuff we hold, so many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see.
Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench. With storage space for all my tools. And some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here. Just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you will have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom. I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one, it was scary, they live there. It took teddy to its children, <sighs> I miss teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit.
Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a seat trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, well, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melody so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom.
Fuckers at the campfire! There! Nice. There's some shit going on behind them sandbags. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first, and fuck that noise! I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand card for 200 clicks. My neck deep in the red zone. So I'm sending Surge to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers, they were offering good cash for it, and get that away. Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device. 
But we can use it. It's a sin. But you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise on The ruins locked down. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post. <laughs> 